I'm it's Leanne again. I hope you're all well. Um, I thought I'd just come on and show you uh, what I've been up to lately. Um, and I've been making these little books um, out of matchstick boxes. And um, this one here in particular is Tales from the Crypt. It's um, just a matchstick box. Um, and this one's the Bible. It's got a bit of a copper leaf on it. Um, I just glued some glue all around it, stuck some copper leaf on it, and it stuck to where the glue areas were. Just makes a different type of um, design. And that's what I've been making. I've got some old paper here um, from an old book, and I've just cut them up and done the inserts around the box in there. Oops, sorry, can't see inserts in there. Um, that's what I've been up to. So I thought I'd just show you how to make them. They're miniature books and um, I'll just show you this one here. This one here I was just practicing. You can also cut them open and have them as little boxes like that. Um, this one's got some old paper in it. It's got a, let me see, what are they? Shoes. A stamp inside of shoes. It's got a button, a nice metal button on the front. So you can have them open or shut. So what you normally get is a normal box. Um, hang on a minute, I'll just that camera a bit forward. There we go, that's better. Now you just get a normal box and you want to cover three sides. One, two and three leave the back side undone. But what I'm first going to do is um, just glue the box a little bit shut so it doesn't slip and slide on us. I just throw a bit of glue down the back of the box. Now that's not coming out. I just have to open it up a little bit more. It's funny, it was working out a little while ago. But these are temperamental, these glue bottles. They work one minute and they don't the next. Uh, let me see, what can I use? The pin. Oops, yes it does. There it is. Okay, press and glue down the back of the box. Like that. Then shut it. Make sure it's even and then just close it. And you just get a wet wipe. You can wipe the excess off. Like that. That won't take long to dry. Okay, it's not too bad. Right, now what we'll do is we'll glue the old pieces of paper down first. So I'm going to glue this. I'm just going to stick some paper from that book down there. Hold it on. one like that and these 
wet wipes are dry, I should really get a wet one. But anyway, there we go. It's glued pretty much on there. Now you just get your scissors and you cut it as close as you can to the box. That. Yeah, I don't think that's too bad. There we go. <laughs> right, we've done that. Now we do the other side. And we also cut that side. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm just going to throw these wet wipes out and get a new one. They dried out, unfortunately. And when you're wiping glue up, you want a, a wet, a wet one, baby wipe. Um, so there you go. That's what we have so far. We've got the box with the three sides done. Um, you cut the excess like that. And that's finished, so put it aside. Now let's start on the box, uh, the folder. Now I've already glued some strips down there to make it look a little bit authentic, like a, a book. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover it in this tissue paper. So all we do is we go all over the folder that we created and cut. Now you cut this about um, half a centimetre right round the entire box. So you cut this black cardboard. about half a centimetre around the whole box as you can see inside there. So you cut half a centimetre around the box. You take the measurements, you measure the box, then you add half a centimetre on right round it and then you get this folder type look. Now I want to turn that over, I'm going to use a boner and I'm just going to make tissue sit where that glue is on the spine so all you do is press it down so it firms up onto the spine just like that right, that's not too bad right now what we do is we give it another half centimeter all round a quarter of an inch, one or the other, so we can glue it down. Ah. So I've done that, now we get our glue again, and we just glue it all the way down, just like that. Now you can use your boner if you like, um, just to rub out the paint, uh, the uh, glue, sorry. I'm a bit slow today. do that. It's just like covering a book. Just cover it. Right, we can glue it down like that. 
very simple to do tissue paper. Okay, there, that's covered that, you know, if you have a look, you can see the spine, and you can see where the ridges are, can you see them? Anyway, so you can let that box just dry, but I continue so it can dry all together. Now, we want to put the book inside there so all you do is you do the spine first so we're going to do this empty slot side that we left undone and we're going to put that into the middle of the book now let me just see which is the front which is the back and it's got Paris on the front that looks nice so I think we'll do that as the front now we put it in the spine and we even it out from top to bottom and we hold it there and then just wipe the sides of all the excess glue it'll come straight off with these wet wipes are very very good and the tissue paper will just dry out The reason we take off the excess glue is because it'll bunch up when you glue the entire thing. Anyway, there you go. I might just turn this heater down. It's getting a bit warm in here. I might crack a window. Right, then we start on one side of the box like this. Yeah. You glue that all down, make sure you get the edges and just fold it over. And just hold it there for a few seconds. Check for excess glue and you can wipe it off. Nope, that worked pretty good. Right, then we'll open it up and do the other side. Hold that side down as well. doing pretty well. Right, now that seems to be done. As you can see, it's a little book. Now, if you're an artist, you can draw lucky goldy streaks up there and make it look like pages. Um, I'm happy with the old paper from an old book um, because the paper already looks old and vintage it's colored, discolored and that so it's not too bad now I've got some oh, Paris. I've got some words here like fairy tales I might call this book I might call it fairy tales what do you think Tiles. Just put them underneath each other like that. Yep, that looks good. So I'll just put some glue on this. Wipe off that excess glue. The weed's good. Is it straight? Yep. 
I'm going to do the second one. That's a good book, isn't it? Right. So we've got our books, fairy tales, the Bible, and the tales from the crypt. Now you can use these around, I don't know, Halloween, Halloween time. You can uh, make some books for Halloween, or you can make a whole library of them um, for a miniature. Um, if they look pretty good, don't they? I love how that you put the glue on the spine there like that. You just squiggle it on. Um, and they really, really look effective. Um, so anyway, I hope you give them a try. I'm going to do one more, I have here. Um, I've got that one that opens as well. Um, and um, give them a try, they're very simple to make. I'm going to do one with poems, I think, um, or potions, or something like that. Something, you know, that looks pretty good, or sounds pretty good. And there's your little miniature books, and I hope you give them a try. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye for now.